School has started, and we're currently in the midst of a shift in learning management systems from in-house Luminous to third-party Canvas. There's just been two years of Luminous, and at this point, it seems quite polished to me. So I really don't know why the shift is ongoing, but I digress. During this semester from August to end of November 2022, both LMSs will be used since we're still in the transitory period. If you want to learn how Luminous works, I've made a video on that. But if you don't want to watch it, here's a quick recap. Logging in, you have to use NUSSD4 slash as a domain before your ID. On the dashboard, you've got lots of information like module announcements, news of what's going on in terms of NUS academics, and a list of upcoming deadlines. There's also a list of modules for the semester on my modules. In each module, you've got the overview, both overall and weekly, you can look at your group mates, view announcements, attend online Zoom lectures, view and download notes and lecture slides, watch recordings, do quizzes, and view your grades, so on and so forth. You could also search for other modules here and sign up as a research subject here. Now, onto Canvas. I have a lot of complaints about the system, but let's just go through the features first. You don't have to include the domain name when logging in. Your dashboard has modules and a to-do list. Causes also have that list of modules that you're currently taking. Clicking into the module, there are a few things to the right. I do not know what view cause stream does. New analytics that can be accessed here lets you see your grades gradually plummet. Cause calendar that also can be accessed here. It's just a blank calendar that is not synced with your class timings. And cost notifications that can also be viewed here shows cost notifications. As if that wasn't obvious enough. Modules can also make use of the homepage to do this, which redirects you to information snippets found on pages. You can click on the previous and next buttons to get to other information snippets found in other pages. Modules let you see the weekly deliverables and the lesson materials covered. Files let you see an overview of all the learning materials for the module. People lets you see other people also taking this module. Discussions is like a forum site, allowing you to make posts and reply to others. Collaborations allow you to make a Google collab with your group mates. Chat is an overall chat group with everyone in the module. Grades show you your grades, both overall and per assignment. Pages contain bits of information about the module. New analytics shows a line graph of your overall grades. Syllabus shows you a syllabus of the module. Zoom shows links for online lectures. Videos of Panopto has a list of videos and audio files for the module's lesson materials. Student feedback lets you give feedback to the module. Course readings shows a list of the readings for the module. Calendar shows a calendar with the module's deadlines also included. Inbox shows the messages sent to you from others. History shows you the pages you have recently been to within Canvas. Studio, well, I have no idea. Finally, you can access your settings under Account. Now, onto the comparisons to Luminous and constructive feedback on Canvas. Oh boy, there's so many things to note. 